My name is Faye. I am a self-thought artist, um, more specifically a painter. Um, I am originally from Canada, living now in Grand Turk, Turks and Caicos. Um, so today is basically like a little introduction video. Um, I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for quite some time now. I used to be doing a whole lot of videos in the beginning of my career. I had an awesome crew. Um, teaching me so many things about videography and photography, sharing with me so much tips and knowledge, following me along in events and as I would be creating as well and uh, creating a whole lot of footage and content for me, which was tremendous help. Um, well, now that I live on a tiny island, I do not have this full crew around me. I am independent, fully by myself, I mean, I have an amazing partner that helps me in a lot of things, but besides that, um, I do like everything by myself, which is like web designing, photography, so taking, taking pictures of my art, obviously the paintings themselves, um, I stretch my canvases and do all of these things. Um, a lot of you guys would say that I live in paradise, which definitely... I cannot say the opposite. This place definitely is like paradise. The ocean is just so beautiful and inspiring. All the animals around. I truly love this place and feel totally like home. The living on a tiny island comes with its challenges. So there's a lot of pros and cons, which I would love to make a video entirely about this subject. Um, basically about an artist living on a small island. Um, just to give you an idea, like a small thing that makes it a challenge to live on a tiny island, like I used to be going to the art store when I'd be like in Canada or in countries where I do art shows and I just reach the store, say, all right, I want 10 canvases, boom, put it in the trunk and then let's go, I can start my collection and that's it, you know, effortless. Just so easy and straight to the point. Now living on an island, let's say I have an order, or I want to create new artwork. Well, it's a whole process. I have to go source the wood, the wood, make sure the wood is straight, is good. And then after that, make the frame, stretch the canvas, and so and so order the canvas, la la la. Like everything takes a lot of time, so you have to be extremely patient. Um, so anyway, this YouTube channel, I want it to be about DIY, about I want to be promoting a sustainable way of living. So here, when you can't find something, you just make it. So a lot of the things we find on the beach and then we've been transforming the property with beach finds and you know, you do what you can. So um, I'd love to share like, I don't know, making soap recipe, like things like that. And I would love to hear from you guys what you would like to hear, basically, well, of you. Um, anything, you know, anything that maybe you saw on my pages that you'd be interested in learning about, I would be so happy to share knowledge about the things that I may know. So, yeah, just please let me know in the comment section. I'm not going to be talking much longer than this because I'm the type that just fast forward on the talking. So, um, stay tuned and the video that I want to be sharing today, basically, um, I have to be restoring this frame, but the most exciting part, guys, which I was about to forget to mention, I'm about to be unboxing um, an amazing easel. I've been here for three years and this whole time, well, here in this house for three years, and this whole time I've been dying to have an easel. Like, I don't even know how I've been managing to create without an easel this whole time. But today is like monumental. It's happening. I'm going to be out unboxing it. And it's an amazing easel. And then after that, I'm going to be working on this restored frame. And then after this, I will be adding some colors on an artwork. So follow me, guys. And I'm going to be sharing all of the process with you. So the banana bread is now ready and I'm gonna have a bite and then I'm gonna start to make the easel. Yep, so 
This is the box which contains the easel. I'm not gonna be taking you guys along while I disassemble everything. I think it's gonna take a long time and honestly, I think there's much more interesting stuff to be watching. What do you think, Nibs? So I'm gonna be putting it all together and then I will share the result with you guys. All right, so I decided to do a little update. Things are taking much longer than I was expecting. There are a lot of parts and pieces and this thing is quite heavy. My dogs are getting tired of watching me work on this thing. By now, they just want to go and have fun and go to the beach. But we won't be taking a break until this thing is done, which I'm so looking forward to. All right, guys, let me tell you, this is literally a game changer. So first of all, this thing can roll, guys. So it might not seem like it, but it's actually very heavy, like quite heavy. Also, it took forever to mount. It took me probably like an hour and a half. So if you guys are not manual, if you can't hold a tool, um, I would not recommend to try and mount it by yourself. Like get someone that is handy, that can help you. I mean, it, it was not really not that bad, but um, sometimes like you have to lift like a quite heavy part while screwing. So might be difficult for some um, so what's awesome about it and like the reason why I've been able to not have a proper easel this whole time is because a lot of my techniques are actually done flat like this. So this is what's so cool about this easel is that I can actually like time it like this and then it can literally stay flat. Um, okay, I have to find again, you know, how to use it because this is just my first time and so I'm only getting to know it, but yeah, like you get the idea, so yeah, it can stay. Um, I'm so excited guys, like this is literally like a monumental moment for me. I can't wait to try it, um, so I'm gonna get at it. Enough talking about the easel. But... Easel ready. So this is the frame I was telling you guys about that I'm going to be working on. Um, I have no idea what's going to be on it yet. I don't know which technique I'm going to be using. But one thing I know is that I am going to be taking you guys on a journey for this artwork. So little update. I cannot find my palette knife which I usually always use to prime my surfaces. So, little alternative for now, I'm going to be using this tool here which is made out of silicone and uh, it should work out perfectly to create an even surface. So I'll be showing you guys the process now. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So I know it looks like completely nothing right now, but trust me, once I'll be putting all the work, this thing will be unrecognizable by the end. Anyway, I, want, I don't want to keep you guys too long on this artwork. We're going to move forward to the other piece I'm working on, which is much more interesting, I would think, because this thing is quite boring to watch, from my perspective at least. All right, let's move forward. All right, so while this other artwork is drying, I decided that I will move forward to another project which is a little bit more exciting. I'm going to be adding color to an existing artwork that I started already, which is made out of an acrylic medium. I am always using golden materials. Um, since I started my career, I found that they are the best products. I love to use good quality to um, provide the best product possible to my clients. Um, I think they are... The products are much more durable, so it makes the art be more valuable. I'd say, especially when it comes to the colors, um, pigmentations are so much vibrant with high quality products. So guys, I would definitely recommend investing in, some, in the best product possible for your art. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the first video. And 
stay tuned for the next upcoming videos which will be more art comment below and subscribe and let me know what you would like to see next thank you guys